Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to Sanshaw's virtual open house session on pre-health science at the Woodstock campus. My name is Brandy, and I work in the marketing department here at Sanshaw. I'm going to be the host for today's session, and I am joined by Anne Marie um, here from the pre-health science program to share uh, information and answer some of your questions um, throughout this session. Uh, Anne Marie, um, I'm just first going to go over. Uh, some housekeeping items before I jump to you. So the audience webcams and mics are turned off for this session. So if you have any questions throughout, uh, it's super easy to send them in. So there's a question mark on the right hand side of your screen. You just click that, type in your question, it will come to me. I will gather those uh, throughout Anne Marie's uh, presentation uh, and then we'll do a live Q&A. So send in as many questions as you uh, feel you need answered today and we'll get, try to get as many answered as possible. Um, and just a note, if you have multiple programs running on your computer, uh, we do make the recommendation that you close them because it could compromise your webinar experience. But of course, that is up to you. Uh, now, once again, I'd like to introduce you to Anne-Marie, who will be speaking about pre-health science at Fanshawe's Woodstock location. And I will come back for the live Q&A once Anne-Marie is ready. Thank you. What a great introduction. Hi, everyone. Unfortunately, I can't see you, but I would like to share some information about free health. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to turn my camera off just so that I can uh, minimize the amount of bandwidth going through here and make it as efficient as it can be for you at your end. So thank you for joining us for a little bit of information about free health sciences. We offered at the Woodstock campus. If you're not familiar with Woodstock, we're just on the 401, about 45 minutes before you get to London, if you are traveling from Kitchener. We're like not even eight minutes off the 401. We're in the country, it's very pretty, but we're a very small school. So if you are looking for that small personal touch in a classroom, Woodstock is a good choice. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what we do at Pre-Health and what you would be in for. This is kind of a, a, an average weekly schedule for pre-health. In pre-health, you take math, anatomy, physics, chemistry. You also take a course called Health 1250 Practical Applications. We've got biology, we've got chemistry, and we try to spread it out so that you have time to study. Because generally, as a rule in pre-health, if you've got two or three hours of class time, you likely have two or three hours of studying and reading per class. So it is pretty intense, but we try to do a good job of spreading out the classes so that you do have time to spend on your studies. We do have our lineup of professors that we have handpicked for pre-health, because as you probably know, pre-health is a stepping stone into what we call a career program or somewhere where you want to go based on your learning from pre-health. So whether it's nursing or it's paramedic or some of the other healthcare fields, this really does prepare you. In the pre-health program, all of the courses that you're looking at on the screen are absolutely mandatory. You do not have any gen eds that you can substitute in here. The only thing that is somewhat optional is writ, and that's reading and writing really at the college level. In order for you not to take writ though, you would have to pass a, a short test. I always tell pre-students, please don't opt out of writ. Everybody comes to Fanshawe or comes to college or university thinking that they can write and read really well, and most people don't. And plus, if you take writ and you do really, really well, it counts towards your GPA or your grade point average. So it could be a really easy credit for you. But currently these are the professors that we have handpicked and each of them, so Dr. Jonathan Heat is actually a chiropractor. He teaches anatomy and biology. Darian Blanchard is a chemist. Kurt Schreider is actually a physicist. Charles used to teach math in elementary and high schools. Myself, I've been at the college for 20 years. And Mary Paquette used to teach English and other subjects at the high school. The benefit to that is they know what you know, and they also know what you need to know. So again, they're really skilled professionals. 
I get a lot of questions every year about grades for pre-health because your grades do matter, let's be honest, in pre-health. If you're going into nursing, you need to have a certain grade point average or a GPA in order to get into nursing. Same thing with paramedic and a lot of the other healthcare fields. So it is very competitive within the program. People always ask me, can I pass with a 50 or a 51? Well, yeah, you can pass, but you won't get your diploma. You really need to have a 2.0 GPA to pass and get your diploma in free health. But again, if you are competing with other students from all over the place to get into a program like nursing, you're gonna wanna do your best right from the get-go and get as high grades as you possibly can. We find that a lot of students that come to us are interested in dental hygiene, massage therapy, medical radiology technology, paramedics, practical nursing. Some even want to just do RPN and, or go further with the RN program, respiratory therapy and collaborative nursing, of course. So the people that you'll be in school with may not all be heading into nursing. They may be coming from different fields or with different fields as a goal. So a lot of the questions I get every year at Open House is, why do I have to take physics? The pre-health program was designed by all of these career programs. These specialists have said, we really need the pre-health students to know the basics in all of these subjects so that when they come into their career program, they are ready to go and they are ready to learn to be a paramedic or be a nurse or be in massage therapy. So you may be taking physics thinking, oh man, why do I need that? Nursing doesn't need physics, but someone else in your class does need physics and you will all be graduating with that pre-health certificate. So that's why some of the courses, you may think you'll never use it, but someone in that class will. And we found with a lot of research we've done, a lot of work we've done with different universities and colleges in Ontario, the pre-health is such a great choice if you are interested in any one of these programs. And we want to help you get there. Is it intense? Absolutely, it is intense. I teach in four different programs at the college. And in my opinion, pre-health is one of the toughest, but it ought to be. If you're going to be taking care of people in the healthcare field, we want you to be the best you can. And our staff, our faculty are handpicked to get you there. And that's really our pledge to you, is to get you there and get you ready. So I'm gonna check and see if there are any questions or any concerns about pre-health or if there's anything that I can help you with as you make your decision. It's a tough decision, decision I know. It is, it's a lot of information. Um, again, is. any questions, feel free to click the question mark on your screen, type away and they'll come to me. So the first question I have for you, uh, advanced pre-health at London or Woodstock, do, they, do I need to be, do I need to apply separately using two of the five application spots? Uh, that's a great question. So. From what I understand, when you're in OCAS, you can go in and apply for pre-health and pick your location. And I know that it's a really tough decision. This may help you. In Woodstock, we only have one math class, one physics, one chemistry. So when you join our program, you are with the same 30 or 40 students for every single course, which is really great for studying. In London, they're a lot bigger. So they may have three or four different math classes or they may have five or six biologies. So if you're looking for that small town, individual, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, you have a name at Woodstock because we're small. That's what we can offer you. But if you're looking for that big city, it's probably not gonna be the best place for you because you're gonna be a little bit bored. Mind you, we're only 30 minutes from White Oaks Mall, so that's not so bad. <laughs> So yeah, you're, really, far you're really not that far from London. <laughs> oh, we are not. Honestly, I live in Ingersoll and I could be to White Oaks Mall in 12 minutes. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if that helps you or not, but I'm pretty sure that you can choose your location. I'm just not sure you can choose all three. Our registrar's office might be able to help you with that. 
Yeah, for sure. And I, I will provide um, for all the attendees that are, that are with us, I will provide you with um, Anne Marie's uh, email address uh -huh. uh, for contacting her with questions about the program, as well as um, an email address where you can uh, send in some of your um, more detailed, specific to you questions um, that you might need the registrar's office or, or a recruiter to answer. Um, so uh, the next question, when are pre-health applications open until? Open until we're filled. That's a really great, great question. So in Woodstock, I think there are max is 55 students. So we stay open right until the bitter end. Because if we've got 55 seats, we'd love to have 55 students with us. Great. Um, is pre-health a good fit for me if I'm interested in being an uh, anesthesia assistant? Oh, absolutely. Now, you'll have to go to university after that. But when you come to pre-health, it is a really highly regarded program with most universities and colleges because we teach you the basics of anatomy and biology and chemistry and physics. So then when you get to that career program, you already know those terms, you already know the chemistry and your efforts can be spent better on learning the course material specific to your career program. We've got to the basics, where you go. <laughs> it's great. I almost got tripped up by the word anesthesia for a minute. Anesthesia, I, just thought I, I should let you guys different. know that. <laughs> um, what is the acceptance rate into the program? Is it a difficult program to get into? Ah, that's a really good question. If you check out our website, you're gonna find that we are very specific in some of the requirements. So for example, we need you to have good math skills. You need to have chemistry. You need to have, I think, biology. And, the re and we're not doing that to be mean. We're doing that because when you come to us and we start you in a biology, by all, we figure you've already got grade 11 or grade 12, boom, you're ready to go so that you're not learning all of those basic concepts that ought to have been learned in high school. Now, having said that, our biggest challenge every year is math. And every year I hire a math tutor out of my budget to help most students through. And everybody will come to us saying, oh, I got grade 12 math. And you know what? My question is always the same. Can you cross multiply and do old fashioned division. Because when you come to us in pre-health, half of your tests are without a calculator. So if you are in high school right now, really work on some of those basic skills. If you are not in high school and you're, you're older and you'd like some links to some math skills, email me, I'll send them to you. So I just beg, beg everybody in pre-health, please learn to cross multiply and do the old fashioned division and you'll be in good shape for math. <laughs> Perfect. Um, there is a question actually that, that fits with this very well. If I, if I struggle with math, is there opportunities for me to work with a tutor and does it cost extra? Uh, very good question. There are two types of tutoring at Fanshawe. So the one that Fanshawe offers is called peer tutoring. So we find someone, another student usually, who's really, really good in math, we make sure they're good in math and they get paid to tutor you. And I think the cost for you is $5 a session and the college picks up the rest and by, you know, if you're good in math, we'd also get a little bit of money on the side, but we pay you, I think, minimum wage. In Woodstock, because we are small and because I have a little bit of a budget, I usually can pay for the math teacher to tutor on the side. It's not a guarantee, it really depends on his schedule, but you are, we can match you up with a peer tutor, five bucks a session and away you go. But we try to do what we can in Woodstock. Yeah, I was gonna say that that speaks to the community feeling at Woodstock where you have those uh, individual connections to be able to assist you. 100%, yeah, and we yeah. do what we can. Awesome. Now, having said that, because of COVID, we've had to cut back a lot of our expenses so that we can stay viable. So come next year, will I have it in my budget? I sure hope so. <laughs> I sure hope so. I hear you. <laughs> um, can I take this program directly from high school? I think you just spoke a bit about that. But yes, you ahead. can. Absolutely. Make sure that you check our fanshawec.ca website so that you meet the criteria. And we've had students that have begged us to let them into pre-health and they haven't met all of the, the prerequisites, like the things you need to have. 
and they're not very successful usually they get um, they get really frustrated a lot of tears so those those requirements those basics are there not to be mean it's so that you're prepared and you can really be successful and it, really we just would like you to have that information before we deliver you some more absolutely um, I'm, gonna read, I'm gonna read this one out loud and hope that together I can get some, make some sense out of it. Um, okay. it's, I don't always understand the lingo. So uh, with an advanced pre-health um, entry into RN course with college level high school courses, does the pre-health allow acceptance? So I think what that might be asking is, do you get preferred acceptance? Okay, yeah, so, when you're, okay so when you're coming from high school and you take our pre-health program, there's something called the point system. So for every GPA, higher the GPA, the more points. So what Fanshawe does, and I can only speak to Fanshawe, not other universities or colleges, they put all, let's say there's 1,500 people apply for, for nursing, but we only have 1,000 seats, let's just say. They go, all right, who's got the top marks? That's actually how they get in. It's because they don't know you. So what they do is they go, okay, these 1,000 people, have really high marks, then they'll go, who took pre-health and got good marks? So really it's a way of not weeding out, but making sure that the best of the best get into the program so that they're not frustrated. Now we do have a collaborative program with Western in case you haven't heard. So if you are interested in becoming a nurse and getting your BSCN, you can do two years at Fanshawe, then continue for two years at Western and get your, your degree, your undergrad. Yeah, and I think free health will get you there. It's a, a great pathway for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so there's two questions and I, I think they're kind of the same question, just reverse. So um, do I have to take pre-health at Fanshawe to get into the Fanshawe nursing program? And also if I take pre-health at Fanshawe, can I get into a nursing program somewhere else? <laughs> ah, <laughs> two, two good around. questions. Okay. <laughs> So let me take on the first one. Do you need pre-health to apply for nursing? Absolutely not. You do not. But you better have really good marks. Because if we go back to that example of a thousand people, let's say you're coming out of school and you're applying for, for nursing, well, so are all the pre-healths. So again, it's the point system. The point system is really based on marks. And that is really based on the number of applicants. If we've got a thousand seats and only 800 people apply, well, they're all gonna get in. We don't see that happen very often. So I hope that answers that question. You don't need to, you absolutely apply and then go from there and see what the registrar says. Excellent. And, and the then other the, one, sorry. the flip side of that, if I take pre-health, can I get into uh, programs at other institutions? that you would want to check with other institutions so a lot of universities do recognize the pre-health program that's a question for the registrar so if you were wanting to go to queens or you wanted to go to mcmaster i would just give them a quick call or send them a quick email say i'm looking at taking the fanshawe college pre-health sciences program does that help me get into this program and they will tell you yes or no excellent um I'm not sure if you'll know the answer of this, but okay. I'm gonna ask. Um, if uh, a student only has taken college level and not U level uh, courses, and then takes uh, pre-health, do you qualify for the requirement for RN or do you need U level regardless of pre-health? So that's more towards the RN program, but. Um, yeah, th that would be a really good question for either the registrar's office or Jennifer Black is our nursing coordinator and it's Jen, uh, wait a minute, jennifer.black at fanshawec.ca. But if you email me that question, I will forward that to Jennifer. I would okay. hesitate and say you're going to need a little bit more than, than the average to get into our RN program is so competitive. Everybody wants to be a nurse, yeah. Yeah. And to be honest, if, if you haven't taken pre-health, do you have the anatomy? Do you have the biology, physics, the math? Because I'll be quite honest with you, Jennifer Black, who is our nursing coordinator, 
when you're in your first semester of nursing, if you do not have 90% in mass, she waves you goodbye. You cannot continue. You must have 90% in math to move forward. So. Perfect. Um, there is a question what your email address is. So um, what I am going to do for everyone, all the attendees, I am just uh, putting in the chat, which will come out to everyone, um, Anne-Marie's uh, email address, as well as uh, an email address to contact the college if you have questions um, that aren't specific to this program. Um, and combined, we should be able to answer all of your questions uh, and hopefully guide you in the right direction. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> um, that's all I have right now for questions that are, have come in. I'll put one last call out to see if anyone else um, has thought of anything more or anything further. Um, of course, uh, you can always reach out to Anne Marie uh, and also reach out to the college at myfuture at fanchelsea.ca. Uh, Anne Marie, do you have anything else that you are typically want to cover oh. <laughs> that might help them? I know there's so much. <laughs> there is. And I apologize if it seems so overwhelming. By all means, email me. I would be more than happy to answer really specific questions. It's a lot of information to cover in half an hour. And especially since we recognize you're going somewhere with this diploma you're going into another program so it's so important that you understand what pre-health can and or cannot do for you and by all means send me an email i will answer if i can't i will put you through to our register or i'll go find the answer myself i'm on the computer seven days a week so i will answer you i promise um, and just uh, in case anyone is watching this replay back to them, uh, Anne-Marie's email address is A-C-S-E-N-D-E-S, anshawc.ca. Um, and that's just for anyone that joins us post-broadcast that wants to get in touch with Anne-Marie. Absolutely. Or I think I'm also on the website. If you go to fanchasc.ca pre-health, and drill down into Woodstock, you'll also find me there as well. Perfect. Um, I haven't got any more questions in, so I'm hoping that means everyone's just letting everything sink in <laughs> <laughs> and not feeling too overwhelmed. Um, um, let's see if I got anything else. Don't be shy, ask your questions. We all know that this is a really, really big decision for you. And we want you to make a really good, well-educated, well-thought-out decision, and we will help you with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you can always feel free as well to check out um, Fanshawe's YouTube channel. There's some, some great videos, information about Woodstock campus, um, and of course these sessions will all be posted there as well after if you want to re-hear re everything that we just talked about. Um, it looks like we're good and we don't have any more questions. So I think we'll uh, wrap up the session for this evening as everyone uh, digests all the information. Everyone who is an, intent, an attendee this evening. Um, and thank you, Anne-Marie, for all of your information. And thank um, you for moderating. You did a great job. No and, problem. <laughs> and thanks to everybody that took a little bit of time to come on and ask some questions. Yes, it's, it's much appreciated. And, and we like to uh, be available to you when you need us. Um, your emails this Saturday. Um, we do have some more open house activities that focus on the student life experience at Fanshawe College. Um, so you'll get some details about that in your inbox. Um, and I think that's a wrap. So thank you very much, Anne-Marie. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Bye.